Good morning, my name is Andrew Fraser. I'm the manager of gasoline powertrain development for Ford in Europe. And I'd like to introduce you to our new one liter EcoBoost engine, which we're launching at the moment in the, in the Ford Focus. This is a, an all new engine design in common with the other two engines in the EcoBoost family, the 1.6 and two liter. It features a combination of turbocharging, direct fuel injection and twin variable camshafts to give it a very high output along with very good fuel consumption and fun to drive characteristics. <coughs> this one liter will come in two versions initially. We have a 125 horsepower version with up to 200 newton meters of, of torque and a six speed manual transmission. And we have a 100 PS version, uh, which has 170 newton meters of torque and comes as standard with a, a five speed manual transmission as the lead in offering in the Focus. Both engines offer class leading fuel economy and CO2 for the uh, 125 PS version, it's 114 grams of CO2 in the, the Focus and 5 litres per 100 fuel consumption and the, the, the lower output engine, the 100 PS, has 109 grams of CO2 and 4.8 litres per 100 kilometres of fuel consumption. One of the key things we've developed for this three-cylinder engine is a, a novel way of balancing the engine. The traditional way of, of doing that would have been to add a balancer shaft in the engine which would rotate it twice the speed of the, the crankshaft and cancel out the shaking forces. However, adding a balance shaft adds quite a lot of weight to the engine, it adds cost, and turning the shaft at twice the speed actually consumes quite a lot of fuel. So the Ford engineering team who have worked on this engine have come up with an alternative method. What they've done is taken the, the flywheel and the, the pulley here on the front of the engine and deliberately unbalanced those two elements in a, in a way that combines mathematically with the movement of the pistons and offsets most of the shaking forces so that in the vehicle you get an extremely high level of refinement. Several other features have been included on the engine to improve the, the refinement. Uh, one of those is the, the belt here. We have a novel uh, drive belt system on the engine. Uh, it looks like a conventional belt. This one is unusual that it's actually lubricated by the engine oil. So it really gives the best features of a, of a chain, which is that you can fit it for the life of the vehicle. It never requires servicing. It's very light and it's very quiet. Uh, the fuel injectors have special noise isolators fitted to them to keep them quiet. The high pressure fuel pump here on the engine uh, has a special software and calibration process which makes it run in a, in a smoother manner. And all of these features together add up into an extremely refined package in the Focus. We see tr drivers currently in two traditional camps. The, uh, the petrol engine driver likes the, the free revving, fun to drive uh, character of the petrol engine where the power is available quite high up in the, the rev band. The, the diesel driver, by contrast, likes high torque. They, they can have a great deal of flexibility and cruise at a fairly low RPM on the, on the autobahn. Uh, with EcoBoost, we're really trying to offer uh, an engine that appeals to both customers. The, uh, the turbocharging system and the, the variable valve technology allows high torque to be generated from very low in the engine rev range. And this engine is from uh, 1400 RPM, you can get your full 200 Nm meters of torque. And that lasts right through until 4500 RPM at the top of the range. So you've got a very wide uh, power band to drive in, uh, and then peak power is still up at 6000 RPM. So it really suits the driving characteristics of both people who've been used to traditional petrol engines or to diesel engines. And we think therefore it caters for a very wide range of customers, driving styles and operating environments. And all of that has been brought around by the, the use of the, the three technologies. The, the turbocharging, the dual VCT system, and the direct injection all work together to give supporting benefits to each other and therefore to the customer. One of, one of the key things we use on all of our Ecos Boost engines is a process that we call scavenging. Uh, when you open the throttle at low RPM, rather than the engine struggling to build up uh, torque as it gets through the, the turbo lag, we do a special process with the camshafts where we overlap the valves. This allows air to flow right through the combustion chamber. There's a very cool, very dense charge in the chamber, which helps build the torque of the engine. And the extra airflow helps to get the turbocharger running faster and builds up the engine output very, very quickly. So there's virtually no sensation of lag for the customer when they drive. And that's probably one of the key benefits here. Driving a one liter three cylinder, the customer might expect, oh yes, I, I guess it will go if I, if I rev it hard, but I don't really want to rev it hard because I want good fuel economy. And using this, the scavenging te technique and some of the other features, we've managed to virtually eliminate the traditional turbo lag phenomenon.
The, initially, we're launching this in the, in the Focus and it went into production in Serlu in Germany last week. Uh, so far, we've announced that it will be available later this year in both the, the BMAX, which is the all new uh, compact MAV from Ford, which is launching in the summer, and in the late summer, it will be in the, the CMAX, the uh, focus based uh, people mover. Uh, other models will be announced in the future.